This code is for predicting stock prices using XGBoost, a popular machine learning algorithm. It begins by importing necessary libraries such as Pandas, NumPy, ZGBoost, and Sklearn. The ZG classifier and ZG regressor classes from the ZGBoost library are used for classification and regression tasks, respectively. The accuracy underscore score function from Sklearn is imported to evaluate the accuracy of predictions made by the model. The TA library is imported for technical analysis calculations that will be used as features for the model. The matplotlib.piplot library is imported to visualize the stock price data. The train underscore test underscore split function from Sklearn is used to divide the data into training and testing sets. Lastly, the min-max scalar class from Sklearn is imported to normalize the data for better model performance. This code is used for stock prediction using a machine learning algorithm called XGBoost. The first line reads data from an Excel file named ks200.xls and stores it in a data frame called df. The second line renames the column pre underscore and to close in the df data frame. The third line creates an instance of a scalar called minmax scalar. The fourth line applies the scalar to the close column of the df data frame and stores the scaled values in a new variable called scaled. The final line replaces the original close column in the df data frame with the scaled values. This code filters the data frame df based on the values in the data deal column. It selects only the rows where the data deal value is greater than or equal to 20,091,101 and less than 20,171,230. Then, it resets the index of the filtered data frame and updates the original data frame df to be the filtered data frame. This code is defining a function called make underscore indicators that takes a data frame as input. Inside the function, it is calculating several technical indicators often used in stock market analysis. First, it calculates the simple moving average, SMA, and exponential moving average, EMA, indicators for the closing prices of the stocks. Next, it calculates the stochastic RSI, relative strength index, indicators, which measure the momentum of the stock price relative to its recent highs and lows. Then, it calculates the RSI, relative strength index, indicator, which measures the strength and speed of a stock's price movement. After that, it calculates the MACD, moving average convergence divergence, indicator, which shows the relationship between two moving averages of a stock's price. Finally, it calculates the disparity indicator, which measures the percentage difference between the closing price and its moving average. These indicators can be used to analyze and predict the future movements of stock prices. This code defines a function called concat underscore and that takes a data frame as input. Inside the function, it initializes two global variables, x and y. The first part of the code creates an array called x with shape, lendf41,8 and populates it with values from specific columns of the data frame. The values are assigned to specific indices in the array using a loop. The second part of the code creates an array called y with shape. LENDF41,1 and populates it with values from a specific column of the data frame. The values are assigned to specific indices in the array using a loop. Overall, the function takes certain columns of a data frame and creates two arrays, X and Y, that will be used for stock prediction using the ZBoost algorithm. This code defines a function called slice underscore window that takes a parameter called size. The function initializes two global variables, x and y inside the function. There is a loop that iterates from 0 to the length of an input variable called x minus the specified size plus 1. Within this loop, two empty lists, x underscore 1 and y underscore 1 are initialized. There is another nested loop that runs for the specified size. Inside this loop, 
the elements from the input variable x are appended to x underscore one list in a specific order. After this nested loop, the last element from the input variable y is appended to the y underscore one list. Finally, the x underscore one list is appended to the x list and the y underscore one list is appended to the y list. The shape of the x list is then printed. The code is for stock prediction using the XGBoost algorithm. It has three main functions, make underscore indicators, concat underscore and, and slice underscore window. The make underscore indicators function takes a data frame, DF, as input and calculates various technical indicators for stock market analysis. These indicators are used to understand the historical price movement and volume of the stock. The concat underscore and function concatenates the newly created indicators to the original data frame, DF. This helps in combining the indicator data with other relevant information about the stock, such as price and volume. The slice underscore window function slices the data frame, DF, into smaller windows of data, each consisting of 10 consecutive rows. This is done to create training and test data sets for the prediction model, where each window of data will be used to predict the stock's future movement. Overall, these functions are used to pre-process the stock data by calculating technical indicators, combining them with other data and dividing it into smaller windows for training and testing the prediction model. This code is using XGBoost, a machine learning algorithm, for stock prediction. It creates a regression model with a maximum depth of 5, 300 decision trees, and a learning rate of 0.05. The model is then trained on a subset of the data using the first 1,400 data points as the input features, X, and the corresponding stock prices, Y, as the target variable. After training, the model is used to make predictions on the remaining data points, starting from the 1,400th data point. The predicted stock prices are stored in the variable Y underscore pred. This code plots the predicted stock prices, Y underscore pred and the original stock prices, Y1399, on a graph. The PLT.figure fig size equals 12,8, line sets the size of the graph. The PLT.plot Y underscore pred, label equals pred, line plots the predicted stock prices and labels it as pred in the legend. The PLT.plot Y1399, label equals ori, line plots the original stock prices starting from index 1399 and labels it as ori in the legend. Finally, the plt.legend line displays the legend on the graph. This code calculates the accuracy of a stock prediction model using XGBoost. It starts by initializing a variable called same underscore count to zero. Then, it separates a portion of the target variable, y and assigns it to a new variable y2. Next, it iterates through the predicted values, y underscore pred, using a for loop. Inside the loop, it calculates the difference between the current predicted value and the previous predicted value, cha, as well as the difference between the current target value and the previous target value, cha2. If both differences are positive or both are negative, it increments the same underscore count variable by one. Finally, it computes the accuracy by dividing same underscore count by the total number of predicted values minus 1, multiplying by 100, rounding the result to two decimal places, and storing it in the ic variable. It then prints the accuracy as a percentage. This code reads a CSV file named samsung.txt located in the d colon slash xgboost slash data slash directory and assigns the data to a data frame called df. The data in the file is separated by commas. This code is used for stock prediction using a machine learning algorithm called ZBoost. The first function, make underscore indicators, is used to calculate various indicators based on the given stock data. These indicators can help in identifying patterns and trends in the data that could be useful for prediction. The second function, concat underscore and, combines the calculated indicators with the original stock data into a single data frame. This is done to create a consolidated data set that includes both the original data and the derived indicators. The third function, slice underscore window, is used to slice the consolidated data frame into smaller windows. 
Each window contains a specified number of consecutive data points. This is typically done to prepare the data for training the Boost model, where each window can be used as an input to predict the future stock prices. Overall, this code performs data pre-processing steps to generate additional features, indicators, combines them with the original data, and then slices the dataset into smaller windows for training the Boost model. This code is a part of a stock prediction program that uses XGBoost, a machine learning algorithm. The first line creates an instance of the ZB regressor model with certain settings like the maximum depth of the tree, the number of estimators, and the learning rate. The second line trains the model using a subset of the data, where X represents the input variables and Y represents the target variable. In this case, the training data consists of the first 900 instances. The third line uses the trained model to make predictions for the remaining data instances, starting from the 900 first instance. The predicted values are stored in the variable y underscore pred. This code is used for stock prediction using a machine learning model called XGBoost. It plots the predicted stock prices, stored in the variable y underscore pred, and the original stock prices, stored in the variable y, on a graph. The plt.figure fig size equals 12,8, line sets the size of the figure while the plt.plot lines plot the predicted and original stock prices. Finally, the plt.legend line adds a legend to the graph to distinguish between the predicted and original stock prices. This code calculates the accuracy of the stock price prediction model using XGBoost. It starts by initializing a variable called same underscore count to zero. Then, it selects a portion of the true stock prices for comparison by assigning the last 100 values of the Y array to a new array called Y2. Next, it loops through each predicted stock price in the Y underscore pred array. For each iteration, it calculates the difference between the current predicted price and the previous predicted price, and also calculates the difference between the current true price, from Y2, and the previous true price. If the predicted price change and the true price change have the same sign, either both positive or both negative, the same underscore count variable is incremented by 1. Finally, it divides same underscore count by the total number of predicted prices minus 1, to exclude the first prediction, and multiplies by 100 to get the accuracy as a percentage. This value is rounded to two decimal places and then printed as the accuracy of the stock prediction model. 